This is Christian Staples with Arctic Spas, and we've developed these tutorial videos to help you answer your questions about your Arctic Spa 24 hours a day. This is Christian Staples with Arctic Spas, and today we're going to go over how to hook up Ethernet over power. So this is a way of hooking your Arctic Spa up to the internet without using Wi-Fi. So one of the problems that we ran into with Wi-Fi sometimes is that you run into an issue of interference. Uh, because the Wi-Fi is on the outside of the house or sometimes it's a low signal strength. So what this does, it, it removes those uh, variables from it and we run the, the internet essentially over your power line that feeds the hot tub. So to do this, we're going to open up the, uh, the box here. The first thing that you want to do is shut the power off and then uh, we'll just simply remove the screws. I removed all the rest of them just to make it faster. And then we have our Ethernet over power uh, module here. So this comes in two pieces. This one here that we've attached the wires to is going to go inside the pack. So what you want to do is you want to find this uh, plug right here called J21. So it's right there. And you're going to take one of the leads and hook it up uh, to the J21. And just slide that right over. And then the other one is the neutral. So you want to put it right onto the neutral bar. Any of the neutrals will work, but you just slide it right onto there. Make sure it's on nice and snug. And then you're going to take the ethernet cord. You're going to plug it into the bottom of the module and then also into the motherboard over on this side here. And then all of this will have to fit in here. So we'll just have to kind of find a place for it to fit. And then we got to go hook up uh, the other side at the, the wireless router. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to plug in the module into the wall here. And then plug your ethernet cable into the bottom. So then what you want to do is you want to plug in the ethernet cable into your wireless router or your modem, whatever you use for your wireless. So what we want to do now is make sure on both modules that all the lights are on and this would determine that uh, both modules are connected and talking to each other. So you can see by the lights there, they're all on solid. So when it's paired, you should actually see this light light up and it would tell you that it's communicating with the other module. If you don't, we're on the wrong power line. So because the SPA works off of both power lines and, and a 110 volt system just works off of one, we need to make sure that we're on the right uh, power uh, line. So what you want to do is you want to remove this J21 plug and plug it in here to the line 2 terminal bar. Just any one of those will work. So there you go, just hook it right up to that line 2 side and then it should pair with the other uh, module. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go in and tell the hot tub that we need to have a, a dynamic IP address instead of a static IP address. So we do that in the settings button. So on an Epic series with five pumps, it's going to be pump number five, or it will be in the same position on uh, any of the other tubs uh, just for the settings button. But we hold down this button for about 20 seconds until on the screen it says LLP. Okay, so now don't adjust anything else, otherwise you're probably going to be giving us a call. And just go down until you see IP. So right now it's set to ST, which is static. And we're going to change it to DY, which is dynamic. And then we're going to scroll down through the rest of the options. We'll let the spa reboot. Once it is rebooted and you have your current temperature here, we're going to take and turn the power off at the breaker and then turn it back on. So I'm going to go do that now. It'll take just a second for it to reboot up now and then we should be good to go. And once you have the current temperature, now you're back to normal. Now what we need to do is go onto our computer and connect up to the spa. So right now we're going to talk about how to register your spa on myarcticspa.com. This will give you the access over the internet to control your hot tub. Okay, so now we want to go to our computer. Uh, make sure that you're connected to the same network as that wireless router. And if you're as cool as us, you name it Arctic. And we want to go to myarcticspa.com. So now once you pull it up, we want to create a username and password and register the spa. 
So we're going to do a, a new registration. So this one we're going to name Arctic Spas Utah. And we're going to use uh, my email address. And then you'll create a password. And then we click here to register. So now uh, it says choose a password. So we've got to enter our password in. Confirm your password and confirm your email address. And then we have uh, some security questions. So we'll go through. I have no idea what the first movie I saw, but I do know the name, the middle name of my oldest child. And then you enter your uh, first name and last name and a phone number, address. You select your country. So now at this point, it's going to search for the spa and it's going to come up with a uh, code on the hot tub. Uh, itself. So we're going to press search. Okay, so now this is the code that comes up here and all we have to do is just push a button and it will uh, configure it. So now we can actually see the spot here, so we're going to click on register. So now it's going to ask you for a nickname. You can come up with any name uh, that you want. And then it's asking you for the spa number. So this is going to be your serial number, but just the number part of the digits. So in order to find the serial number, it's right on this plate here if you don't have it any other way, and the serial number is just located right there. So our serial number is 157308, and then uh, we just press enter. Now uh, it says that it's been successfully registered, and we can control uh, my Arctic spa now. So now it says our current temperature is 101. We can turn on the pumps just by pressing these buttons here. We can turn on the light. All of your settings are right here. And then a really neat feature is this power consumption that's under diagnostics. And we can actually look and see how much our spa is actually costing us to run. So that's how you register your spa and access your spa on, on myarticspa.com and hook it up to the ethernet over power.